Welcome to the planet Earth, where we have six different kingdoms which rule it all. The Animalia Kingdom, which has your dogs and birds, and you. Plantae, which has flowers and fruits, and nut. And then fungi, which has yeast, molds, and mushrooms. Oh, and then there's three other ones, which are made up of tiny things that I can't see with my eyes. And if I can't see it, it doesn't exist. Anyways, today I want to focus on fungi. But first... This video is sponsored by My Singing Monsters. It's a game where you collect these funky little monsters that each have their own musical part. And together, they make beautiful music. This is Noggin. He hits himself. This is Gast. He goes... And these are my favorite. These are the dipsters. They just poke their little heads out of the ground and sing the do re mi. There's over 300 monsters for you to collect, nurture, and love. Collect them all to complete songs on over 20 different islands, each with their own musical theme. Listen to this. You can also decorate these islands with all kinds of decorations and structures. Make it pretty. I want to play, but I don't have any money. Well, guess what? You can download it for free on mobile and Steam. Just click the link in the description. Here, I'll help you. Wow, it's easy and convenient and free. <laughs> yes, it is. Also, this month the monsters will be celebrating the month of Mythical, which means new never before seen monsters will be joining the game every week. And if you use my code GINGERPILL or click the link in the description, you'll get a special in-game gift. And with that, thank you so much to My Singing Monsters for sponsoring this video. Okay, so why mushrooms? Because they're like little superheroes that make the planet uh, livable. And I like living. They got super strength so they can punch through all kinds of materials like rock and, and paper and, and skulls. And they have super enzyme spits so they can chemically break down all kinds of materials. These powers make them great recyclers. They break down organic material into delicious things like oxygen, carbon, phosphorus, and nitrogen. A feast for everyone. <laughs> when they do this, they generally like to go for dead stuff, but sometimes they like to go for things that are alive. <laughs> they also help make all kinds of food like bread, beer, wine, and cheese. And you could just straight up eat them too. They're good on burgers and steak and omelet. <sighs> you're in a forest and you're starving. Your tummy is rumbling and you got the hungries. But around you, you see two types of mushrooms. One of them is brownish with a white stem and looks kind of like one you'd see at the grocery store. Please don't eat me. And the other is colorful and uh, weird. But you're a little, you're a little hungry boy, so you gotta pick one. Which one are you gonna choose? Um, uh, that one. Excellent choice. Uh, maybe. Uh, let's see if you chose correctly. I live by the rule: don't put it in your mouth if you don't know what it is. Which has kept me pretty alive, I, I think. So it's important I teach you how to identify mushrooms before you eat them. So first, we're gonna take a look at all these shapes they can come in. Check this out. They can be cylindrical, conical, convex, or flat. They can be shaped like a little bell. Look at them go. They can be umbonate, where they look like a little umbrella. Or they can be depressed. And then you got infundibuliform. That's a, that's a fun one. That's a fun name. It means deeply depressed. He's even sadder. And last but not least, the horribly phallic ones. What, what, what do the shapes mean? Does it, does it mean they're okay to eat? I don't know. I probably wouldn't eat the horribly phallic one. Aren't you supposed to be helping me? Okay, I got this book on foraging mushrooms. Uh, let me take a look. I'm starving. I'm just, I'm just going to take a little bite. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we are. Death cap. Did I make the right... <laughs> choice? Uh, no. No, you did not make the right choice. Weird, it looked really normal. Well, together we have learned. Avoid uh, uh, this one. Anyways, here's some of my favorite mushrooms. The honey mushroom. People think that the blue whale is the biggest living thing on the planet. That's not right. It's, it's this. It's the honey mushroom. There's one in Oregon, and it's like 50 blue whales. Yep. The bearded tooth mushroom. I just like this one because it looks like beards and mustaches for trees, and I, I, I think that's just lovely. Chicken of the woods. No, not that one. 
this one. It looks like kind of cooked chicken breast, and apparently it kind of tastes like it too. It's like nature's chicken. Wait. Bread mold. My bread is moldy. The zombie fungus. This fungus is like a B-movie horror cinema. It infects an ant and sucks it dry like a juice box. Then it zombifies them, forcing the ant to leave the safety of its home to go climb a nearby plant only to permanently bite down on a leaf for the rest of its life. Eventually a mushroom bursts from its head, raining down spores onto all its little ant buddies below. And that's a wrap. Roll the credits. <laughs> And then we got the dead man's fingers, which just kind of looks like a little hand sticking out of the ground. Little, little, little fingers. Give him a little... <laughs> oh!